Hi, hey Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Today I want to talk about <clears throat> plywood joinery. Nothing to do with solid wood. <clears throat> with solid wood you have to pay attention to grain whenever you're doing any kind of joinery. On plywood you have to pay attention to your layers of pl your plies. There is no grain direction really being dominant in plywood, but there is layers. And so when you, with that in mind, if you take a screw, the other thing you need to know is another term that I'm going to use here today is called the anchoring threads. If I take these two pieces of wood together and I screw them to each other like this, and I bring this screw through here, the area of this piece here, these threads going through this secondary wood, that is your anchoring threads on here. They are pulling this piece of wood right straight in there. The hole in this piece of wood, ideally, you want to be bigger than your threads. Or you want your shank to be smooth on the end without any threads. So that when it goes through this area, there's no threads to grab this piece of wood. You only want to grab the threads here. Those are what I call the anchoring threads. So <clears throat> with that in mind, you put a screw in here. You put these two pieces of wood together. If Norm Aiden was going to do this, he would cut himself a little dado down through here. He'd drop this in there with glue. And then what he did, which was very smart, and he did it on virtually every single joint, plywood joint that he did, that he used the dado joint with glue. Then he came back with his brad nailer and went in at an angle and toenailed from both sides to toenail those brads in along that joint. That it was the strongest joint in plywood, in my opinion, that you could get for a single butt joint, especially, in, but it's using the dado to help strengthen it. Well, now the strongest joint is no longer that joint, in my opinion. <coughs> Definitely easier, but the toenailing pocket hole joint is the strongest joint in plywood joinery. If you think about it, you'll see what I'm talking about. If I take these two pieces of wood, and now I take my screw and I put it in through here to pre-drill my hole and put this in through here. First off, where are the anchoring threads? The anchoring threads are going into this board right through in between the plies of my plywood. And what that means is that this screw is actually trying to spread this thing apart. And you're dependent upon these plies staying together rather than the strength of the, of the plies themselves. And so if you take this same screw and you put it in this way and screw it down, then the anchoring threads are going across the plies. That makes that screw hold much stronger. If you don't believe it, put a screw in this way, put a screw in this way, and then pull them out with a claw hammer. See which one is harder. Trust me, you'll know the difference. So with that in mind, you put these two pieces together. This is your joint. Now think about your anchoring screws real quick. <clears throat> the anchoring screws, if you put the screw in this way, the anchoring screws are in the plies here. They're separating the plies, and that's what gives you your holding power. On a uh, pocket hole, the screw goes in this way. Now the, the anchoring threads are actually digging in across the plies. That makes this screw stronger than this screw going in this way. So if I take this piece of wood, and let's say I put it on this way, if I put two screws in this way to hold this piece on here, it's not going to be anywhere near as strong as if I put these two screws in pocket hole wise this way. That would make this joint much stronger than going straight in from here because I'm going across the plies with my threads, anchoring threads, instead of into the plies. So the strongest joint is actually putting pocket hole screws on both sides. So if you put the piece of wood here, and just imagine for a second that I'm going to take four piece, four screws, and I'm going to screw this piece down by putting the screws in here. One, two, three, four. And then you think about the strength of this board being held in place. Then take this same setup, and now put two screws in it from this side, and then stagger the other two on this side and put them in. What you now have is the old Norm Abram trick of toenailing. Only it's the screw you're toenailing in to your wood instead of brad nails. 
and the screws will hold even stronger than the brad nails do. A screw is going to hold a little stronger than a brad nail in most scenarios. So, but whether you're doing pocket hole screws or just brad nailing, if you use this butt joint and you go in with nails in this way, and then you go in this way with your nails instead and toenail them in instead, this way would be stronger to hold these two pieces together than the nails going in this way every time. So pocket hole toe nailing is actually the strongest joint in plywood. If you doubt it, put two pieces of plywood and check it. And I guarantee, I'll guarantee you, you're going to find out that this is a lot stronger using pocket holes joinery than just going straight through and using your anchor thread straight in between the plies. So anyway, it's a food for thought. This only has to do with plywood, with layered plywood. Your OSB is a layered plywood. If you look at it very carefully, you can see your layers of your different layers of plywood on here as it builds up to make the thickness that they want. Now, they're not flat. They're wavy. So when you glue this all together and they compress it, it's not flat like it is on this one. But it's still layered. So the same thing with OSB that applies to this type of plywood. If I take that screw and I go in through this way, through the face of this plywood, this OSB, it's going to be stronger than if I go in on the edge of this board <coughs> because I'm going between the, the plies. So keep that in mind. If you want to anchor, if you want to put a good connection between two pieces of plywood, you have to think about where the anchor part of your threads, where's the anchor threads going to be? Are they going to be in between the plies or across the plies? I don't know how I can put that any simpler than that. I did the best I could. But that's why I say that the strongest joint is toenailing pocket hole screws. And that's the ticket. If you can do that, you're going to have the strongest plywood joint you can have that I know of today. So if you have any questions or any opinions of this, leave it below. If you want to do a test on this and let me know. And believe me, I'll be more than interested to watch that and see how it comes out. So, but this is what I'm saying. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, please leave them below. If you like this video, please say so. It always helps. But most importantly, please come back again because we're nowhere near done. There's lots more to come. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again soon.